Welcome to Access Clear Administrative Credential Program. All of the materials you need for the program will be housed in our online learning management system called Schoology. To access these materials, navigate to axa.schoology.com and enter the username and password that were sent to you in your welcome email and log in. You may wish to save your password as this is the same password you'll be using throughout the program as passwords could not be changed. When you first open the program, you'll land on the home page, and as you can see down the left-hand side, you have access to your grades, mastery, calendar, messages, and people. For the most part, as a candidate, you'll be using this grades tab or possibly the messaging system. The messaging system will automatically forward any messages sent to you to the email that you've designated inside of Schoology. You also have a Courses tab, which will house your courses, Groups tab, which keeps all of the groups that you belong to, and a Resources tab, which is kind of like a storage locker for all of the materials that you'll be placing in Schoology. We're going to start with the Courses tab, as this is the, is the main one that you'll be using throughout the program. Click on the Courses tab and select your course. Courses are typ typically named for the local program to which you belong. You'll see right away that all of the main content for the course is on this course's home page. The Credential Program and Orientation provides an overview of the program itself. Clicking on the arrows to the left of the folders enable you to preview what's inside the folder. You can also click on the title of the folder itself to take you to the contents. We have our participant manual here. In order to go back to that home page, you can use the breadcrumbs, the light blue breadcrumbs, along the top of the title here. For more information about Schoology, you can click on the Getting Started with Schoology tab, and there's a PDF guide as well as several short videos. One of the first things you'll want to do is create a shared folder between coach and candidate, so I highly recommend viewing this video. The remaining folders take you through the content of the course. For example, in the Getting Started, you have your coaching agreement and several other preliminary documents that you need to fill out during the first month of your coaching. In Section 2, the highlight of this is the collaborative summary, which you'll be completing each time you have a coaching session and also the capsule self-assessment and reflection, which is completed initially at the end of year one and at the conclusion of the course. Section three holds your leadership learning goal, which will help guide your planning and work throughout your credential program. The professional development tab gives you access to the reflection form you'll use after the completion of a professional development activity as well as where to log those 20 hours of professional development work. We also have a whole variety of free resources that are organized by Capsule and can be used to help satisfy the professional development requirements. And finally, toward the end of the course, there's a program completion and final portfolio directions. In this last green folder, that's where local program resources specific to just your area will be posted. All of your work can be found under the Resources tab. You'll navigate to Personal Resources, and here is where you'll create a shared folder between coach and candidate. Your list of folders will be down the left-hand margin here. Once you click on the folder, It'll populate over here to the right and you'll be able to see the contents. This is where you'll upload collaborative summaries, coaching agreements, professional development reflection logs, and anything else you need to share between coach and candidate. For purposes of our program, grades mean a candidate's progress toward the 40 hours of coaching required each year and the 20 hours of professional development required each year. As a candidate, you'll access grades by clicking on the Grades and Attendance tab. You'll select the course that you're associated with. 
and this will show you the number of coaching hours for the first year, 7.75 out of 40, and the number of professional development hours, in this case none have been logged yet, for your progress. Coaches access their candidates' grades in a different area from the home screen. As a coach, you'll click on Home, navigate down to the Advisee tab, which a candidate will not have, and your list of candidates will populate here. You select the candidate you wish to view their grades and then select the Grades tab, the course that they're associated with, and then you will see the number of hours logged, 7.75 out of 40, and PD hours, in this case none, for each of your candidates. If you wish to view them for another candidate, you simply switch courses and view for that candidate. Local program coordinators view the grades and progress for their candidates by course. As a local program coordinator, you can select the course that you'd like to view grades for. And simply go to the grade book. Here, you can select all members or fall and winter members, and you'll be able to see each candidate's progress in their coaching hours and professional development hours. Our final menu is groups. Right now, most candidates won't belong to a group, but your local program coordinator or coach may wish to create a group to share documents with you. In this case, the local program coordinators group can be found here and by clicking on that, local program coordinators can access resources for all local program coordinators. All coaches will belong to the CACP Coaches Group, and again, they have access to resources as well. The most important resource in the Coaches Group is the Coaching Log Links, which is the document which, that has all links for how to log coaching hours for the program. Finally, if you have additional questions, there's more videos in the Getting Started with Schoology folder, as well as on our AXA YouTube channel, and there's also a support button up here in the upper right-hand corner. Best of luck with completing your clear administrative credential.